Welcome to the Endeavour Sailing tutorial on tidal streams. Do you remember this is typical tidal stream data as found within an almanac, giving us the high water and low water times and heights from which we can calculate the range of tide today. And from this range of tide we can calculate that we are either on a spring tide a neap tide or a mid-range tide. So here we can see the difference between high water and low water gives us a range of 4.1 meters. Now when we come to work out tidal streams we also need to find out another bit of information and this we can either find on our tidal diamonds which are printed on the charts or within a tidal stream atlas in the almanac. Now, next thing we need to remember is that high water is at a specific time. So in this example, high water is at 12 noon. Now, that specific time we need to make into an hour because all our tidal stream data is represented within an hour. So to take this time, this specific time, and make it an hour, our high water falls half an hour before and half an hour afterwards. So here high water is at 12, so the high water hour is 11.30 to 12.30. So high water plus 1 would be 12.30 to 1.30. High water minus 1, 10.30 to 11.30. Then we can work all the way through plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, or minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and minus 6. And then from each of those times we now know which hour we are looking for for our tidal stream data. So here we have some tidal stream data as you would find on the tidal diamonds on the chart. And as you can see highlighted here, we are three hours before high water. And then we have the next two columns. So the first column, the 318, that's the degrees true. Because tide always has two components, the rate and the direction. So the direction is 318 degrees true. And the rate, 2.9 or 1.5. So that's 2.9 on a spring tide, 1.5 on a neap tide. So always remember the spring tide is always the biggest. So it will be pushing us at 318 at a rate of 2.9 if we were on a spring tide and it will be pushing us 318 degrees true at a rate of 1.5 knots if we're on a neap tide. Here we have some data as it would appear within a tidal stream atlas. Now tidal stream atlases are fantastic for giving us a very visual, a very pictorial view of what the tide is doing. So the shorter and thinner arrows will show a weaker tidal stream, whereas thicker, longer arrows indicate a much stronger tidal stream. So if we have a look a bit closer here, at the top we have, it says, slack. Therefore, there is very little tidal stream actually affecting us at this moment. Then you have the next one, and you can see it's highlighted again. And the arrow gives us the direction. So we could measure that using our plotter. And then you have the two numbers, 0, 3 and 0, 5. The dot in the middle is what divides us between a neap tide and a spring tide. And we just have to insert the decimal place. So 0, 03 becomes 0 0.3 knots and 0, 05 becomes 0 0.5 knots. So this is 0 0.3 on a neap tide, 0 0.5 at a spring tide. As you'll notice, this is written the other way around to on a tidal diamond. But it doesn't matter as long as you remember springs is always the biggest. If we have a look at the example here at the bottom, 
our tidal arrow is pointing in a westerly sort of direction, so we could measure that. And then we have the two numbers, 12, 23. So again, inserting our decimal place. So 12 becomes 1.2 knots. 23 becomes 2.3 knots. Again, springs is always the biggest. So 1.2 at neeps, 2.3 at springs. Here we have the tidal stream shown visually. So if we haven't got any data, we could always look at things like anchored vessels, buoys, pots, and see what the tidal stream is doing from the way that these are lying. And now let's look at a working example. And for this we're going to be using the RYA training almanac and also we're going to be using the RYA chart number three. So the question we have is what is the tidal stream at Cape Woodward on the 20th of May between 1426 DST and 1526 DST. So the first thing remember that we need to calculate or work out is what is the tidal stream reference port. And for the training um, material, the reference port is always going to be Victoria. So our reference port for tidal streams is always going to be Victoria. So we're going to need to look at Victoria's tide data for the 20th of May. And what you'll see here is that we have high water on the 20th of May at 17.56 DST and we have a height of tide of 4.5 five meters. Now we're wanting to know what the tidal stream is doing between 1426 and 1526. So that precedes this high water. So we're going to need to look at the low water before this. And the low water before this is at 1131 DST and it has a height of tide of 1.5 meters. So we can find the range today and the range is three meters. And remember now we need to work out whether this is a neap tide, a spring tide or a mid-range tide. And this works out to be more or less a mid-range tide. So now our next step is we know high water is at 1756. But if you look in your atlas and on your tidal diamonds, everything is expressed in hours. One hour after high water, one hour before high water. So we have to take this 1756 and expand it to an hour. And to do this, we go half an hour before and half an hour after. So high water actually falls between 1726 and 1826. So that is our high water hour. We know our times, so they're going before high water. So now we can draw what we call the tidal ladder. So 1626 to 1726 is one hour before high water. So everything that falls between 1526 and 1626 is two hours before high water. And then everything that falls between 1426 and 1526 is three hours before high water. So now we know our tidal hour. It's high water minus three. So now we have a choice of either using the tidal stream atlases or the tidal diamonds on the chart. So if we have a quick look at the tidal atlas 
and we go to three hours before high water, you can see you have a little arrow that points in that direction and on that little arrow it says 16.32. So the arrow gives us the direction and if you measure that you'll find the direction is 114 degrees true. And then we have the two numbers, the 16 and the 32. Now the point gives us the dividing point between the springs and the neaps. And what we need to do now is to add a decimal place. So instead of 16, it's 1.6. And it's not 32 knots, it's 3.2 knots. Now if you remember from the other tutorial, springs is always the biggest. So we have a direction of 114 degrees true, a rate of 1.6 if it's a neap tide, and a rate of 3.2 if it's a spring tide. But remember, ours was mid-range today. So the simplest way of calculating it today, the rate is 3.2 plus 1.6, which is 4.8, divided by 2, so we have a rate today of 2.4 knots in the direction of 114 degrees true. Now if you have a look on the chart, you'll see just south of Cape Woodward we have a tidal diamond, and the tidal diamond is tidal diamond F. And if you look at the top at the um, tidal diamond table, you'll see three hours before high water it says 114 3.21.6. As you can see, they're written the other way around. But it doesn't matter because if you always remember, springs is the biggest. So we have the direction, 114 degrees true in the first column, and then you have your rates, 3.2 if it's springs, 1.6 if it's neaps. And remembering today, it's mid-range, so we go back to using this calculation, adding the springs and the neaps together and dividing it by two. So we've got our direction of 114 degrees true, and our rate of 2.4 knots.